Hello, it's Ali. In today's video, I will show you how to copy a physical object that you already have into a 3D printed one. How are we going to measure this physical object and import it to a designing software? So for measuring the physical object, I'm going to be using a caliber like this or you can use a digital one. And we're not going to take every measurement and I will show you the trick how I will do that. So if I take this model as an example and I want to add something on this engine, let's say I want to add a filter on the turbo and I already have this model in the software or any 3D designing software you have. So it's way easier to add something here because I already have all the measurements. I can start here and make the model, make, make it 0.05 smaller. So I have the fitting here and it will be inserted with this thing. You have that thing in a physical object and it's in real life so taking that measurement and converting it into the software it's a bit tricky and i will show you everything you need in this video so when we take a picture of this and import it into the sketchup or any designing software the software doesn't know the actual length of this or any measurement so it will be a match with the real design and in the software and this step is very important because if you mess up with this step the whole design will be a bit bigger or smaller this video was a requested video for some time people were asking me how i design and 3d print my parts or i want to copy something from a physical and do it in 3d print that's how i do it without using a scanner so for this object we have some details here and i know this part is more important than this part because here is the motor is sitting and we have slider as well so it's more accurate than here here is just bolting on the block and it's not that important because we only have two holes here and not much of complicated things but here we have some slider and the motor is here so we're gonna put the caliber like this and it doesn't matter what is the measurement and we're gonna put it in a flat surface like this and then take your phone out and take a picture but with taking picture there are some things you have to consider so your picture will be accurate with the design i'm not gonna take a picture like this because now it's on wider angle and if we take a picture like this the distortion of the wide angle will mess up the design so we're gonna make the camera a bit far and then zoom in and make sure these two lines are parallel and then take a picture all right after taking the picture we're gonna import it into the sketchup sketchup is free designing software and you can make anything over there for example all these design i have made it on sketchup the subra project and all these things it is not powerful without the plugins but with something like this, you can do it without plugins. So after importing the picture into the SketchUp, we're gonna draw a line from zero to four. So we can know this picture is exactly the same size as in the real and as in the software. Now we can see the line is way longer. So we're gonna reduce the picture till that line will be 14 millimeter. And then we're gonna trace the picture all the way with using a line. And then we can use arc and circles and trace all that lines. Now we have a 2D image. We're gonna give it a thickness. For that, I will be using a push and pull tool. Okay, let's see how much is the thickness. It's three millimeter. So we're gonna type air three. Next, we have this part. Now we're gonna measure it. How much is the height? It's 18 millimeters. Okay, for the side holes, we're gonna measure the first one and we're gonna measure it from the bottom. How far is it from the bottom? It's 4.4 millimeters and the hole is three millimeters. And from the first hole to the second one, is seven millimeters all right the design is finished now we have an identical design we're going to export it as stl and then send it to the printer and test print it for test printing i will be using pla and after testing if i see every fitment is good we're going to print it with pet cf which is a heat resistant material so if you don't have a bamboo lab printer or don't even have a 3d printer this video is sponsored by pcv way so if you have a custom design like me and you want to 3D print it in highest quality and you want to 3D print it with different material rather than plastic, PCB Way got your back. Import the STL file here and choose the material and it will tell you the price and shipping days. PCB Way's link will be in the video description box below for more information. Thanks for PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Alright, the print is finished. Oh, 
All right, these are the supports because the printer can't print it in air. Here is like a ceiling and the printer has to make something like a support. And these are the support you will have it here and also here because they are the overhangs. But the reason I printed two with two different orientation, one is like this and the other one is like this. This one doesn't take any support because it will be like this and you don't have any overhang. The biggest part here is will be on the build plate and it will be printing like this. The quality will be nice but it's not that strong because here the layers stacked on each other and it will break here just like the original one and it, we have a crack here. So we know that with this design this spot is the weak spot and printing it like this not gonna be good because we can break it easily just like here and the other one I printed like this so now the print line are like this and it's not gonna break here but we can break it in other parts here and here and for here I make it a bit thicker you can see it's a bit longer the holes are in the same place but it's a bit thicker from here so now we can't break it here all right now we're gonna test fit it and if we see everything is good we're gonna print it with different material that can handle the heat of the engine. Now we have the final design and it's fitting just like the original one. Now we're gonna do some adjustment. We're gonna make it thicker because here we have some rooms till the belt. I'm gonna make it thicker and also here is a 90 degrees so it's not that strong whenever you have a 90 degrees you will have a crack like this and what I'm gonna do I will give it a curve so it will be way stronger I will make a curve here and also here make it thicker a bit here because we have room here and then I will give it two millimeter more we have some rooms here and then I will 3d print it with a different material that can handle the heat so let's do it all right here is the final design it's a bit thicker than the original one, but it will take the same bolt just like the original one. Here, when I made it thicker, I gave these a groove, so the bolt will be the same size and also here. But yeah, let's put it on and see how it is. So if you don't have SketchUp, you can search it on Google, SketchUp online, and you can design it over there and then export it as STL. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will make sure to put the file in the video description box below if you have that problem with Simpton Engine. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.